am Chelsea with the Blue Haven Bell and I'm going to be showing you how to do beach curls. So first off what I want you to do, I'm sorry my hair looks ridiculous right now, but I want you to get two curling irons. The reason why you have two curling irons is one because it just gives kind of that different, different strands have different flow. So first off what I want you to do is wherever your part is, I want you to just put your part where it's supposed to be. So what you're going to do is take the first little strand and you never use the clamp with this way. So you're gonna go like this, you're gonna wrap it around and just hold it. You can kind of shake it a little bit. Hold it, shake it, whatever you need to do. And I usually count to about 10. And it's gonna look pretty tight at first, so then I switch it up. So then the next one, and I like to flip them over, but you can do whatever you wanna do. Some people don't like the way that looks, but and I just, and I always keep the tip pointing down. So, oh, I just like the way it looks. So. And it's gonna be kind of tighter, so you kind of see that. Switch it around. It's really important that you not use the clamp because the clamp will give it kind of a tighter like wetting look and you don't want that. It's kind of annoying to switch in between but it gives kind of a cool look at the end so. I burnt my forehead, so definitely don't do that. But I am done doing the curls every other one, and right now it looks kind of like um, too done up. So this might be a look for like, I don't know, prom or something, but this is definitely not what we're going for. So here is where some people don't like using hairbrushes because it pulls out their hair. I'm not really sure, but I like to use a hairbrush. And if you go through all together, it'll give kind of this like more windblown look. We're going for beach curls. So if you could just take one and kind of go through it, one, go through it. And you're gonna do that all the way through. So, and if you can kind of get them all taken care of. Um, don't worry about them coming out because um, when you use the hairspray, it'll they'll start to come back a bit. So now you have kind of this like kind of gross like look. So then you're gonna take the hairspray, and I just like to like smush them up. And obviously throughout the day, they will get a little bit less intense and slowly turn into better beach curls. But for now, this is kind of what they look like. Definitely don't burn your face like I did. But, and then I always like to just kind of brush through a little bit more too because I swear to you, like, as soon as I discovered that you could brush through curls and they look, like, kind of beachy, windblown, like, it changed my life. Total game changer. So, now, like, look at where I burnt myself. Like, what the heck? So, the only thing I would be careful with would be if your hair falls out really easily, like, don't brush it through quite as much. My hair stays pretty well. And then the other thing is I like to spray it in my hand. Some people, this might make it greasy, but um, I just like the wispies to stay away. So there you have it. There are some windblown beach curls and I hope you enjoyed. I like to use the Suave Max Hold. It's super cheap and I've never found another product that I like better. And you can use a ton of it and it doesn't get crunchy. It's literally like the best hairspray. I've never found something better. So 
Um, in terms of the inches, um, this is, uh, I think, a one inch Conair. Oh, Infinity Conair. And then this one is like a, a three fourths inch uh, ceramic tools. Thanks for watching. This has been the Blue Haven Bell. Hope you're having a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.